So here we have an inverse square problem and we are told the various distances of the Earth and Jupiter and we know the brightness of the Sun, at least overhead brightness of the Sun. We need to work out what the intensity or the brightness of the Sun is on Jupiter. So the inverse square law says this, is that the intensity is proportional to 1 over d squared. What that means is, is that if we compare the intensities, let's say, of the Earth to that of, let's say, Jupiter, then the ratio there is equal to the distance squared of Jupiter over the distance squared of, in terms of the Earth. Can you see how these are sort of diagonally opposite each other? And that sort of makes sense. That means if the Jupiter is further away, right, than the Earth, then this value becomes bigger. And that makes sense because on this side, the intensity of at Earth is definitely going to be brighter than the one at Jupiter. But it's an inverse square relationship. So what we now do is substitute our values in. So the intensity of the Earth is given. And in this case, the intensity is equal to 98,000 lux. And of course, this is what we're looking for, for Jupiter. Now the distance of Jupiter is in astronomical units and we're told that it is equal to 5.2 astronomical units compared to the one on Earth. But of course this is squared. Both of those are squared. And so now what we can do is we can rearrange that. So our intensity of Jupiter is equal to 1 multiplied by my 98,000 divided by 5.2 squared. And when you calculate that out, you're going to get a intensity of 3624 lux. As you can see, significantly dimmer on Jupiter compared to the Earth. I hope that's helped you understand this concept. I'm Paul from High School Physics Explained. Take care. Bye for now.